Very rarely does a piece of golf technology come along that could redefine the landscape of golf forever. Until now. Introducing the brand new Golf Zone Wave dual system launch monitor. Guys, this is one of the first in the UK. I have managed to get my hands on it. Today we're going to unbox it, show you everything that it comes with and show you everything that it can do when it comes to having over 100 courses, 34 swing data parameters and of course multiplayer functionality to get your competitive edge on. Right, let's see exactly what comes in the box. So guys, this is one of the first in the UK, if not the first in the UK. I'm really excited to get my hands on this. So it's obviously a portable launch monitor. We do have, oh, let's not try and lose everything. We do have the two vision system in the simulator room back at home, but this is just something we can pack up and take with us. So it comes with lots of different things. This is obviously the wave system. So if we take this out you'll see just how light and portable it is you could put this in your golf bag if you wanted to it's absolutely tiny and for me this is something that could redefine my reviews it could redefine just my everyday life to be honest because if I can take this abroad with me throw it in my hand luggage throw it in my golf bag it's going to make it a lot easier to test and review clubs for you guys and give you the best information about them possible so this sits behind the ball around 10 feet behind it we're going to test it out here at Wally Park Golf Club. We're going to see just what driver numbers we get, see if we can pump out that 300 yard drive. And we're going to test it on some approach shots and see if we can hit better, more solid, more accurate iron shots, because that's obviously how we're going to improve our golf. What else comes in the box? So yes, that is the wave system there. We've got all the cables that we need. I have charged it up already. I've had it out of there. It comes with a power cable as well. Now get ready for this. Underneath here, um, I should probably take these out but underneath here bang so this is an absolute game changer this is a putting device so when you want to use it as a golf simulator it actually measures the parameters of your putting as well so you can play proper gameplay simulation and i will throw a little overlay of the guys in the states using this we used it actually at the pga show in orlando and i absolutely loved it chris i think it can really help you with your putting lessons as well we can start to get face data ball speed data everything that you do want and of course you can play some fun golf along the way so we'll put this back for now and i want to see if we can smash some long drives out here using the wave. I'm also gonna tidy up because we've left it a bit of a mess. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll get on that, we'll get on it. So guys, as you can see, it's so easy to set up. All I'm gonna do is make sure the ball that I'm hitting is in that little circle there, that's perfect. Then I've got a target line, so I could adjust that if I wanted to. And the T line obviously is the horizon there. So that is pretty good to go. Right, so very quickly we have got the wave device set up behind me i just can't believe how small it is it's actually the size of a kind of smaller ipad an ipad mini chris has also seen he can set it up on his iWatch as well, which is actually quite a nice way of doing things. If you do want to just have it on your watch, you can hit your shots, check your data straight away. I've got it set on my phone. You will have that on screen as well. Right, we're not at a warm up yet today. And this is a great way of warming up, of checking your numbers for the day. Just thinking, right, if I can get out here on the driving range or on the course, I can hit a couple of shots. I can see exactly how far the ball's going today, what shape I've got as well. I've got it set on down the line view. You can have an aerial view, of course, I've chosen driver on the club as well. Right. First shot. Can we get first shot over 300, Chris? Fingers crossed. A little healy one down there. It's picked it up straight away. I can't believe how quick that is. Numbers wise, we've got 255 carry, 277 total. So not a bad distance for me there you'll see it on the side of the screen now it's exactly the same ball flight as what i had as well so a bit of a healy cut down there not bad numbers for the first swing of the day let's continue the one see if we can edge that forward and then when i can't get 300 yards we'll get chris to have a go then we're going to work on our iron play down in the fairway straight away start that one a little bit further left wasn't as healy i would expect that to go a little bit further 269 carry, 281 total. So all, all of a sudden we're starting to go up to my standard numbers. For me, a standard drive would be 275, hopefully creeping up to around the 290 mark. 
it's time that I need to just uh, get the spinach down, mate, and try and get one out there a little bit more. Really impressed with how quickly this is picking up. I'm going to go through some parameters and see exactly what ball fly I'm getting, what spin rate I'm getting, what ball speed I'm getting. Because for me, if I can throw this down on a tee, and this is something which you guys could use to help your game as well. I said in the introduction to this video, this could redefine golf forever. And I really think it might do. So guys, that last drive, we had 281 total distance, 269 carry. We're going to get that up on the next one. We had a ball speed of 161, so quite a good ball speed to say I've not yet warmed up properly. And it's launching at 10.8. The launch direction was at two degrees to the left and a spin rate of 3,139. We need to get that spin rate down. We need to get it more out the centre of the club, now the heel, and we'll start to see this distance go a little bit higher. This is where exactly it can help you guys. It can really help you narrow down what parameters you need to improve on. For me there, I could be thinking, oh, I'm just not getting that. I've not got the ball speed. I need to swing harder, where realistically, I need to get this ball more out the center of the face. Because if I'm striking it out the heel, you can see how sporadic those T marks are there. Then it's going to be too spinny. You're never going to get that overall total distance that you are after. Even if I can move this out the toe, I might still generate that 160-ish ball speed. But if I can drop the spin rate by even 500 to 1,000 RPM, that's going to help me hit longer golf shots, have less into the flag, and hopefully make more birdies right come on big one now i'm going to get this moving right to left the last two were a little bit fady that one felt pretty good it's down the left side You're just shy of a 270 carry not quite getting out the middle of the face that is my big problem today that's what i would need to work on if i knew i was going out playing get the ball out the middle of the face we've got 276 Total yard is there. We've got a ball speed again of 162. And again, that spin is just a little bit too high. So what I can do here, as you can see guys, I can pick and choose the parameters that I do want. So say if I want attack angle, I can have it on there. If I want dynamic loft, I can have it on there. If I want spin loft, all these parameters are exactly what you should be looking at. Maybe not all of them, but especially if you're working with a coach, you can send him your numbers. So this thing actually retails at $3,995, which is very, very reasonably priced compared to some of the other launch launches on the market that give you the same dimension. Very interesting numbers there so far with the brand new Golf Zone Wave Simulator and Launch Monitor. And for me, a couple of things that I love about this are obviously the size and the weight. It is so light, it is so small. Me and Chris were just saying when we go on a trip next, we can even put it in our hand luggage and it won't be a problem. You can just get straight to where you go in, put it on the range, do some club testing, do some lessons or do whatever you want to do with this. And also obviously the simulator element. I can't wait to put this up maybe in the garage, maybe in the living room. I'm in a funny position because I have the two vision system, which is one of the best golf simulators, if not the best golf simulator in the world. So actually no need to use this for a simulator, but you could actually do this quite reasonably priced. So you can get this around $3,995, which is around £3,500-ish in today's market. Then you can just put a little frame up. You can put an archery grade netting up behind it. So make sure it kind of holds a golf ball. And from there, you don't even need a projector just to attach it to your phone, attach it to your iPod, attach it to your Apple Watch. iPod? And... You're bringing the iPod back. I meant iPad. Mm. But you can just make sure that you're testing golf clubs. You can make sure that you're working on your game. You're playing golf simulations with putts as well. It's not going to cost you an arm and leg, which is fantastic in today's market if you want to get good at golf or if you just want to play more golf inside. Right, let's hit some iron shots. Let's see what numbers we get with this. Iron's a, a funny one, because I'm pretty sure that my eight iron goes around 155 yards. I'm pretty confident of that if I strike it well, but I have been pulling them recently, so I might use this to help me work on squaring the club face up, squaring the club path up, and generally hitting more greens and lowering my scores using the golf zone wave. Picked it up straight away. Not quite, Chris. We've got a 259 carry, 267 total. Was it high out the face? It was extremely high on the face. We can actually just about see it. That's the team up, and that is exactly where it's come out of on the face. So, although it was one of the best drives I've ever hit on this hole, so I would be actually quite happy with that. Not your favourite hole. A really good way of potentially working on your problem hole as well. If you do struggle visualising a tee shot, if you struggle seeing a tee shot on a certain hole, if you take a launch monitor out there with you and just plonk it down, you can start to think more about the parameters you're trying to hit, more about the face angle, more about the swing path, and then you can start to hit better golf shots rather than thinking, oh dear, there's out of bounds right, I always go there, this isn't going to end well. Another go. One more. It is quite addictive when you do get on something like this, I must admit. Can't wait to test out the actual simulator side of it and play some golf. I 
to strike. Oh, that was better, Chris. That's a 280 carry, 286 total. Oh. Much more ball speed at 166. And again, just a touch high on spin. Let's go down there, let's hit some iron shots and see if we can straighten ourselves up. That was better, wasn't it? A little bit better. A little bit. We'll find 300 one. Hey guys, we're now down the fairway. We're around 155 yards downwind. So that is about an eight iron for me usually. And all I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna scroll down the app. I'm gonna choose eight iron. So if you are logged in, I'm in guest mode at the moment, but I can log in. I can then start to work out how far my clubs actually go rather than just thinking my seven iron is a 150 club like most golfers do. I'm gonna keep the grid on down the line, but I do really enjoy some of the other angles that you could see, such as sky view and down the line. Tiny bit left, I think the distance should be about right. Really interesting to see just how far this has gone. It's landed on the green. A little bit low on spin that time, five and a half thousand. That's carried, that's carried one, five, six. It's downwind, so it's released a little bit to one, six, five. Chris, just zoom in and show them where that ball is. That's exactly one, five, six to one, six, five. That is absolutely incredible that it's done the perfect distance. And the thing is with things like this, guys, I'm always quite skeptical. I'm always thinking, oh, are the numbers correct? Is it bang on? That is absolutely on the nose, the perfect number and the perfect ball flight. Let's see if we can knock it a little bit closer to that flag. Exactly the same, little bit pulley fading back. I anticipate that's gonna be around a 156 again. It's carried the bunker. And that time we had a 160 carry, so four yards more, 169 total. Very, very similar numbers, very, very similar ball speeds. One more. And this is where I can really start to think, I'm pulling those a little bit. Visually I can see that, but I can also see it on the Golf Song Wave Skills app. So I can start to think, right, I'm obviously shutting the face down. Can I get that club face to be a little bit squarer? Can I work on my alignment better? Can I work on a few other factors to hit it? more online just like that one that's fading to the flag nicely didn't quite catch it that's going to be down a little bit 139 carry 146 total so this is very very accurate it's also very very humbling if you don't hit the perfect shot which is exactly what a launch monitor should be to help you improve your game guys this is a first look and unboxing of the brand new golf wave simulator make sure you do check out a link is in the description below i can't wait to add this to my coaching to add this to my club reviews and to add it to my content because apart from that, I'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. Goodbye.